All right, the unicorn. Uh, I love your feedback slash advice on this. I recently met a very sweet, smart, and attractive lady. Uh, we've been texting back and forth for a few days, getting to know each other, and eventually got to the how many people have you slept with question. Okay, I was up front and honest and told her my number. And when it was her turn, she told me she was a virgin. That's right, she's a unicorn. I've never heard that expression. But it doesn't stop there. She went on to tell me she's never had a boyfriend. Keep in mind, she's 21. Okay. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm old school and love that she's a virgin, especially in this world of full of who is. But it's still weird. Um, Jesus, no please you. You just called every other woman out there, basically, who gives sex whores, and then she's weird. All right, we went on the first date a few days later, and she lived up to my expectations. She was hot, smart, funny, and I had a great time. My question is, how is it possible that this smoking hot and seemingly perfect girl is a virgin, let alone has never had a boyfriend? I'm not complaining, but I'm wondering if she's lying or if there's something that I don't see. Well, I mean, I think you're going to, physically, you're gonna, I think you're going to, you know, unless she played softball and the ball took a weird hop, right? Um, wait, whose story was that? Oh, my God. That just popped out of my head. That was a comic from way back when. I don't even think she does it anymore. He used to tell a story on stage about how she was playing some sport and she got hit and, and broke her hymen. Um, I don't fucking know. I, I don't know what to tell you, dude. He said, what's he saying here? I don't want to get into something with her and then find out she's a crazy or worse. Thank you for the feedback. And as always, go fuck yourself. So, dude, what? just keep dating her and just see how it goes. If she's fucking nuts, walk away. If she is great. I mean, 21, I mean, that's a little older, but I mean, it's not like 31. You know, 26, 27, that's when you're starting to go like, you know, but someone could just be really fucking walled off, really could have had overbearing parents or whatever. Um... I don't know. She kind of really let you in and told something really intimate about herself. Um, you're, you're, you're just in a spot where you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. So if I was you, I'd be asking myself, why am I asking that? Who did I date before this that's making me think that this is going to be an absolute shit show? Now, look, I would be lying to you if I, if I said that, um, you know, if some woman was smoking hot or something like that and came up to me, I would think at some point someone would have talked her in to the rack by 21 nowadays, but 21 isn't that old. Um, I say you write it out. It's a good enough situation. See what happens. And uh, if you're worried that she's a psycho, just, you know, just don't get too fucking, uh, you know, crazy and like with the chick. And then, you know, after a while, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe you could actually have a conversation with her at some point. Don't be so blunt like, how, how some fucking chick as hot as you never had a dick in her? I mean, don't say it like that. Just be like, I don't know. You know what? D don't listen to me. Don't fucking bring that up. I, but I would continue to see her. If you're having a good time, I would continue to see her. And, um, you know, if you're really concerned, I would just hide the knives in your kitchen the first time she stays over. You know, just make sure the bat's on your side of the bed. If you really think there's going to be a problem... But uh, that's if she even gets in the bed. So we'll see. 